good morning all in the last class we have discussed the uh, classification of eutectic phase diagram the first classification of eutectic phase diagram which is the components which are completely soluble in the liquid state and uh, limited solubility in the solid state in this class we will discuss the second classification of the eutectic phase diagram in which the components are completely soluble in the liquid state and it is completely insoluble in the solid state okay uh, in the previous case we know there is a limited solubility when it comes to the solid state uh, less than which is 10 less than 10 percentage or so so in this case there is no solubility which means uh, whatever the components which is mixed in the liquid state it can again return to its initial component for example if we have two components component a and component b uh, when we are melting it upon the melting temperature in the liquid state it will be completely uh, soluble but once we are cooling to the solid state when we are freezing it below its melting point it again reconvert to its uh, solid state which is a as well as b so it will not be as a mixed solid solution or a single phase solid solution but in liquid state it will be immiscible it cannot uh, it will be completely uh, miscible it cannot be separated but in solid state it will be again uh, coming back to its retain its initial state which is a distinct a as well as b a well known example for this class of solid solution is uh, the solid solution made up of cadmium and bismuth uh, similar to the previous case if we analyze the phase diagram of cadmium bismuth phase diagram uh, we can see we will be constructing the phase diagram as the temperature on the y axis and person uh, composition percentage over the x axis in this case we will be having uh, bismuth on the left side extreme left side and cadmium over the extreme right side so 100 percentage bismuth will be marked on the extreme left side and 100 percentage cadmium will be marked on the extreme right side and upon the x axis we will be weighing the percentage cadmium in the atomic percentage temperature in degree centigrade will be uh, recorded over the y axis and we mark the initially we will mark the melting point of bismuth which is 271 degree centigrade and the melting point of the cadmium which is 321 degree centigrade so that is the limiting boundary when it is the pure form of bismuth as well as pure form of the cadmium which separates the liquid phase from the solid phase then next important term is the eutectic point we already discussed in the last class the eutectic point significance it is the point in a binary phase diagram in which which corresponds to minimum melting point and also the reaction which takes place or the transformation which takes place at eutectic point is the eutectic reaction in which the material in its liquid state it transforms to a two phase solid state okay so again mark next is we will be marking the eutectic point which is 145 degree centigrade which corresponds to the minimum melting point which takes place at a particular composition which is around uh, 60 to 65 percentage of percentage cadmium and rest as the bismuth so that is the particular composition which is the eutectic composition at which this eutectic reaction takes place and the eutectic temperature is 145 degree centigrade so if you are directly cooling the molten metal uh, at this particular eutectic point we can see the liquid cadmium plus uh, bismuth material it can transform directly to a two phase solid which is solid cadmium plus solid bismuth so another important observation we can make when we are comparing to this with the previous eutectic phase diagrams we can see there is no alpha phase or beta phase existing in this case we know when we are comparing to the previous phase diagrams there is a region small alpha phase region which is a single phase solid solution and there is a beta region which is again a single phase solid solution because uh, in such cases the previous eutectic phase diagram where we had a limited solubility in the solid state so we will be having certain region which is a single phase uh, of the component a and there will be a set certain region which is a single phase solid solution of component b where we will be adding component a so such uh, particular regions of single phase region it is absent over this particular class of phase diagram where the components are completely soluble in liquid state and insoluble in solid state we can see only the single phase region exists in the molten state or liquid state so it will be ha the when we are considering the phases in this particular phase diagram we will be having a single phase liquid region uh, which is separated from the other region by the uh, liquidus line 
then we will be having the liquid plus solid region which is liquid plus solid bismuth region or a particular region another two phase region which is liquid plus cadmium region or a particular region and below that which means below the eutectic point we have the two phase solid region which is the solid cadmium and solid bismuth region so the number of phases here is one single phase liquid region uh, one two phase solid region solid plus solid two phase region then two two phase uh, solid plus liquid region solid plus so, uh, solid bismuth plus liquid region solid cadmium plus liquid region so in two two phase region we have a liquid plus solid in one uh, two phase region we have solid plus solid and one single phase we will be having liquid region so the major feature of this class of uh, binary alloy is these alloys are completely insoluble in the solid state they cannot be completely mixed in the solid state nowhere we can find a single phase in everywhere it will be existing as a two phase region of the corresponding element in this case it will it is the bismuth as well as the cadmium so now we have discussed the different uh, categories of phase diagram based upon the number of components starting with the unary phase diagram which consists of one component then we moved on to the binary phase diagram then the classification of binary phase diagram were it again classified into isomorphous diagram and eutectic diagram and in eutectic diagram we have two further classification one based upon the solubility in the solid state one having the limited solubility second classification is having no solubility in the solid state so again if you are having more components like if we having instead of two if we have three components which means the composition of the three components the mixing of the three components will get involved so a three component system or the phase diagram consisting of of three component we'll call it as a ternary phase diagram so it is not easy to represent over a 2d surface normally a ternary phase diagram we can represent as a equilateral prism or a equilateral triangular prism okay so if it comes it will be a 3d surface it will not be a 2d surface so uh, if we have more than two we cannot practically draw it over a 2d paper or 2d surface mm, and as the number of components increases the complexity of the phase diagram also getting increased so the three component phase diagram it is ternary phase diagram if we have four components again it will be a quaternary phase diagram so uh, normally we used to constrain our uh, phase diagram analysis with uh, 2d phase diagram or the binary phase diagram but for the sake of understanding we have to throw some insight on the ternary phase diagram or three component phase diagram so as i mentioned already ternary phase diagram consists of three components so we will be having three components for example if component a component b and component c okay and it actually represents a prism so we will be having the 100 percentage a 100 percentage b and 100 percentage c as marked as the vertices of uh, an equilateral triangle so vertex a will be 100 percentage uh, component a b will be 100 percentage component b c will be component c and we will be having varying this percentage for example we will be having the varying composition over the edges of this particular equilateral triangle so when we are considering ac we can consider it as a binary uh, region or we can see the binary composition a and c composition is varying uh, and if you are considering a and b it is again a binary and if you are considering b and c it again considered as the binary so sides are binary compositions and within this triangle within this triangle we can represent the ternary phase so points are or the vertices are single phase sides are two phase or binary and within the triangle we can mark the three phase regions or the ternary phase regions so now we know the uh, regions of the composition next for the phase diagram we need to represent the temperature axis so normally as i mentioned it is a triangular prism so temperature axis will be uh, over the length we can mark the temperature along the height of the prism okay and each sections of the triangle will be uh, composed of a constant different phases so if you are considering a particular section the the temperature remains constant so we can vary with the composition like uh, 
single phase composition or two phase binary composition or within the triangle we can represent the uh, ternary phase or the three phase regions as mentioned previously so now we need to know how we will uh, mark a particular or, or how we will find the composition of a particular point within this triangle which means the three phase region how we will mark within the triangle so for the sake of understanding we have uh, considered one arbitrary point which is point p which is represented on the figure 2 uh, so it actually represents a isothermal surface so isothermal surface in the sense that the temperature remains constant throughout this particular surface so now we need to find the composition of uh, element a composition of element b and composition of element c at point p so what we used to do is we have to uh, project these uh, point b along the three sides we know each side actually represents the percentage variation of one particular component for example if you are considering the side ab where the weight percentage of b is varied if you are considering side ac the weight percentage of a is varied and if you are considering side bc the weight percentage of c is varied so from p we will be uh, projecting along the weight percentage b to find the weight percentage b so if we are projecting from point p along weight percentage b we can find it will meet at point 50 percentage weight percentage b when we are projecting uh, along the weight percentage a side or side ac we can see it will meet at the point 50 percentage a or 58 percentage a and if you are projecting the point p along the side weight percentage c we can see it meet at point 25 weight percentage c so now we know the composition uh, for example for the case of p uh, it is 20 uh, sorry when we are projecting along uh, ac it is actually not to 50 percentage a it is 25 percentage a so the total composition it will be 25 percentage a and 25 percentage c and 50 percentage b which is actually the composition within the triangle for an arbitrary point where we have the three components so this is the method for finding the uh, phase composition of the phase for the case of a ternary phase diagram or uh, the three component phase diagram so similarly we have uh, again if we have a four components we will be having quaternary phase diagram but analysis of such diagram is again much much complex so next we will discuss the different reactions which is taking place within a phase diagram different invariant reactions or equilibrium reactions so already we have discussed the eutectic reaction which is taking place in the eutectic phase diagrams and similar to eutectic reactions there are certain other uh, transformations or reactions which, in, which is taking place uh, within different phases inside a phase diagram so as we discussed in the previous classes in eutectic reaction or the eutectic point the transformation taking place is from liquid to a two phase solid transformation which means uh, the molten metal in the, which is existing in the liquid state it directly transforms to a, a two phase solid state okay so which is the eutectic reaction similarly in phase diagrams there is peritectic reaction a peritectic reaction is a reaction where a solid phase and the liquid phase will transforms to a single phase solid for example an alpha solid phase plus a liquid phase it is getting transformed to a different solid phase which is a beta solid phase okay this particular reaction it is also similar to eutectic reaction uh, again an invariant reaction this reaction is termed as the peritectic reaction so in a peritectic reaction a liquid plus solid will transform to a different solid or liquid plus alpha transforms to beta so these kind of reactions are not very common in uh, every alloys but in certain alloys it used to happen but eutectic reactions as well as the use as well as the eutectoid reactions it is very commonly taking place in the binary alloys so next is the eutectoid reaction not eutectic eutectoid reaction uh, it is an invariant reaction which involves the transformation of one solid uh, upon cooling into a two 
phase solids so a solid getting transforms to a two phase solid for other terms we can write as alpha solid transforms to beta solid plus gamma solid so alpha is a particular phase beta is another particular phase gamma is another particular phase so the composition of each will be different alpha phase will be different beta phase will be different gamma phase will be different so we can say uh, alpha is transforming a or the alpha phase solid or one solid is transforming to a two another distinct phase solids all the different solids will be having a distinct phases or distinct compositions so this particular reaction where a solid transforms to a solid 2 plus solid 3 it is called as eutectoid reaction and similarly another type of invariant reaction is a solid 1 plus solid 2 transforms to a solid 3 and we have another type of invariant reaction which is monotactic reaction where a liquid is transforms to a solid plus liquid so just as a consolidate we have these different types of invariant reactions we need to know uh, what actually these reactions means and examples of one or two examples for these particular reactions so a, a brief representation is shown where the, we'll start from the eutectic reaction uh, which is we know very well in the case of the uh, binary eutectic diagrams where a liquid transforms to a solid one plus solid two or a liquid transforms to two phase solids examples are uh, let in phase diagram silver copper phase diagram etc which we already discussed in the eutectic phase diagrams next one is the peritectic reaction where liquid plus solid transforms to a another solid its representation is shown examples are silver platinum phase diagram eutectoid reaction we have mentioned peritectoid reaction monotectic reactions okay so we just need to know what these reactions actually represents and examples for these particular reactions so in these classes we have discussed in detail the different classification of the phase diagrams unary binary as well as ternary phase diagrams in the next class in detail we will discuss the uh, binary phase diagram one well known example for the binary phase diagram and which uh, remains the base for uh, the different manufacturing routes which exist in the, in the iron and steel industry which is the iron carbon phase diagram okay thank you